friends, it is Lindsay, the frugal crafter. Dig my cool jewelry. These are my brand new blingy cocktail rings I just made. And they were super easy and I'm gonna show you how to do it. The cool thing about this project is you don't need to buy any fancy findings because we're gonna make our ring findings out of wire. We're using 20 gauge copper wire. It's actually gold colored copper wire. I got this at AC Moore and they're having a 40% off sale on wire right now. Also on all jewelry stuff, I think. Don't quote me on it, but they have, I think most of their stuff 40% off in the jewelry department. Um, you're going to need for a tool, a uh, pair of round nose pliers. Uh, this is my three in one tool and it's great because it's got the round nose pliers, has the side cutters and it's got the flat smushy part, which I'm not sure what that's called, but it's wicked handy. Um, we're also gonna use a ring mandrel. And if you don't have a ring mandrel, you can use a dowel or um, some other cylinder that you can find around the house. Um, just be creative, anything will work. Uh, this was four bucks at Joanne's, so certainly not an, not an expensive item. But uh, having a hard time tracking tonight, but we'll get through it, trust me. All right, so what you're gonna do first is, um, oh, and the beads I'm using are from Fire Mountain Gems. This was this big assortment pack of flowers. It was a couple bucks, and um, I got a huge bag, enough that I could share with one of my girlfriends who has kids, and uh, we split the bag. It was awesome. So Fire Mountain Gems for those beads, they're a great deal, and they're really fun, and I love it when my, um, my stuff's not expensive because then I feel free to use it. What you need is about a foot of wire. I'm just measuring it on my bead board here. I got about a foot. It's a no waste project, so we are going to uh, use every little bit of that wire, which is nice. And on your ring mandrel, the, I, I like this seems just like a really easy one to use. I've used some other ones, um, but it's cheap and it works. And what more can you ask for, really? I'm going to, um, I usually go a size bigger than what I want it to be. So if I want a size six, I'll go up to a size seven or seven and a half. If I want a size seven, I'll go to an eight or eight and a half. Because uh, sometimes after you've added the beads and the wraps, it actually makes the ring a little smaller. So if you're making this for yourself, keep that in mind. Or for somebody in particular, you want to make sure that you um, you can bear that in mind. So you can go either three or four times around. It's up to you. But you want to make sure you have about three inches on each end protruding when you're done. Now at this point, you can keep this on the mandrel if your mandrel has a little divot on the back like mine does, or you can slide it off if you're using a dowel or a marker or something that happens to be the same size as the ring you want to make. Um, you want to take the ends and fish it through the center. There's a very animated game of sorry being played upstairs, if you can hear that. Oh my goodness. Sounds like my daughter is winning. Um, and what you want to do is just loop this around. Be as neat as you can. I am not often that neat in my videos because um, I am watching the monitor more than I'm watching my hands. So who knows what happens on some of these. But I'm just wrapping this wire around and around and around she goes. I'm going to bring this up a little closer. Hopefully we're in focus and you can see that good. So I've got that wrapped around three or four times. Nice and tight. Let me show you that. You see that there? Hopefully that's in focus for you. Do the same thing with the other side. If you need to slide it back on that mandrel to, to finish your wrap around to figure out what you need to be, go right ahead and do that. That's what it's there for. Four bucks. Can you beat it? Four bucks. You could even use a coupon and get it for two. Oh my goodness, that would be frugal. I have never done that. Bought a four dollar item with a coupon. Well, maybe I have, I don't think I have. I think I usually hold out for the, uh, usually what happens is I go in there with my coupon and what I wanna buy is like on sale for 20% off or something. So I don't really make good use out of it. I went to uh, Joanne's when they had the big coupon commotion a couple of weeks ago. And I had 10 coupons, I'm not even kidding you. I left the store spending $2.31 on a package of findings. Now see what I did there? I messed up because I bent my wire and it became weak and brittle and it broke. So don't do that. Um, but I think we can still rescue this piece. Well, what not to do video brought to you by the frugal crafter. <laughs> so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna make sure I pick a really flat bead there. I'm gonna stick that on there and I'm just gonna make a tight little spiral so it doesn't fall off. All right, so that's not exactly what I planned, but you know what? You make lemonade. You make a mistake and you make lemonade and that is, the, but I hope you'll remember that you don't bend and crease your wire because it becomes brittle and that's what happens. All right, so now what I'm gonna do with this side, I'm gonna stack my beads up so I have a little bit more oomph here. So I'm just fishing through for a couple uh, beads that will look good stacked and I have this nice big open flower there and I'm gonna go in with this, um, I think the smaller bell flower. 
looks kind of cute. And um, you could add another bead on there if you want, but I like to use the gold wire to be my stamen on my flower. So when you're doing a tight spiral, get the tip of your plier right in there and make a nice, uh, make a nice curve. And I'm just rolling it up. And all I really want to make sure is that I have a nice, uh, cute little spiral that's gonna hold that whole thing into place. So there's our little ring. Even though we made a mistake, it's still all right. And then to make sure our ring doesn't come out of whack, we're gonna whack it. <laughs> Crazy, huh? So what I'm, what I'm gonna do, now this is a plastic mandrel. If you're gonna do any serious hammering, you really want a metal one, but I'm just using a rubber mallet. And I have this because I use it for other projects. Oops, there we go, like flattening bottle caps. And, um, I'm just tapping it all around and this is reshaping. This is making sure I've got a nice round shape. And it's also hardening my wire so it's going to be less likely to bend out of whack when somebody wears it or is playing with it or you know your kids get a hold of it. It just gives it a little bit more strength because this is a pretty thin wire. We want to make want to give it all the help we can. So this is hardening in a good way when we know we don't want it to bend anymore. We want it to stay in that shape. Remember when my wire broke? That's because I hardened it in a bad way. I was overworking it. I kind of bent it when I was pushing it through the middle to wrap it. And um, so it made that bit of the wire brittle and it snapped on me. So that's what you want to avoid. But we still it still worked out and we ended up with a ring. So that's that's all right. And it's pretty cute too, I think. So I want to show you another variation with this. So say you don't like flowers. Um, I was playing with some bottle caps and resin and I made one of these ring bases, just like I showed you. I spread the little tines apart and I just glued it to the back of the bottle cap. The glue is still wet, but um, I just wanted to show you that. So, you know, it's just a basic um, ring form that you can make to, you know, for whatever jewelry project you have. Now the little earrings that I showed you earlier, are super easy. And I'm just gonna show you real quick how to make them because they're super easy. And I, if you've seen me make earrings before, it's nothing new, but, um, I'm just, I've got my beads just uh, arranged here and I'm just going to string them on in the order that I put them down in. And these little flowers are cute because you could make, you could do little angels with them. You could do um, all sorts of, all sorts of fun projects. I just like how they sparkle and flutter and they're very whimsical. I like the whimsy. Don't you like the whimsy? All right. So then to turn this into an earring. We're gonna make a 90 degree bend about an eighth of an inch above that top bead. Then we're gonna, uh, this time, cause we're not doing a wrapped loop, we're doing a simple loop. We're gonna to go to the end of this wire. We're gonna grasp it with the, with the, I'm gonna go to the kind of the middle of my pliers cause I have about a half an inch there left and I want a little bit bigger of a loop. So I've got the end of my, my wire kind of flush with the edge of my pliers and I'm gonna curl it inward keeping it lined up on itself. And I'm gonna readjust my pliers as I need to because I wanna make sure that I have a nice round loop. Alrighty, now all I have to do is put this on a um, ear wire, which I have right here. And when you open up an ear wire, it's the same as if you're opening a jump ring. You just want to um, kind of twist it open. You don't wanna open it up like a U, you just wanna twist it open like a C kind of, so that you don't weaken that wire either and so that you don't end up with a big gap. So there we have that really cute earring to go with a really cute cocktail ring. So there you have it. <laughs> Even with a mistake thrown in the mix, we still managed to make a really cute cocktail ring and a pair of earrings. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, would you do me a favor? Give me a thumbs up. And if you want to be my super best friend, share it on Pinterest, share it on Facebook. Sharing is caring, folks. Thank you. Thank you. I love the sharing. Um, so that's it. Thank you. I do appreciate um, all of your support. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment in the section below and I will get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.